Now to the reaction of the people impacted most by this decision, DREAMers. CBS News contributor Maria Elena Salena spoke to two DACA recipients about facing their uncertain futures in this country. It has been an extremely difficult time for us. And today, just this weight was lifted off of our shoulders. For thousands of DREAMers, today's news couldn't come soon enough. What does the Supreme Court decision mean to you? It means that I can continue to pursue my dreams. For the last two years, I had been living in limbo, like not knowing what my future will hold. Nettie Lopez was brought here when she was four and Ana Guevara when she was nine. Both are recent college graduates and say the ruling is a victory for them and their families. I have a little brother who has autism and he needs me. Um, he is a U.S. citizen and his right here is important, but he also needs his family. What do you say to those, Ana, who feel that you shouldn't be here because your parents broke the law? The home is here. But for now, this is only a temporary solution that rests in the hands of a very divided government. What do you have to say to those who have the power to make a difference and make this permanent. They need to listen to the communities. They need to listen to the immigrant youth who are here contributing to this economy. How would a DREAM Act, if approved, change your life and the life of hundreds of thousands of dreamers in your situation? I think like it would definitely change our future, right? Like it will give us um, a permanent solution. But we're celebrating today, uh, but we're continuing our fight tomorrow. Maria Elena Salinas joins us now from Miami. And Maria Elena, how is the 2020 election going to impact what happens next? The 2020 election now is going to have a huge impact. As we know, President Trump has made immigration one of the central issues in his campaign. And DREAMers have been waiting since 2001 for a solution when the DREAM Act was first introduced in Congress. But really, since then, Congress has not been able to agree on any version of it. So it really does depend a lot on who will be elected, who will be controlling the House and the Senate, who will be in the White House, and if there is a political will to approve any kind of legalization for these young people. Let's remember that DACA was created to give them some relief and to protect them from deportation. But until the DREAM Act becomes law, their future will continue to be in limbo. Maria Elena, thank you.